Hello, my name is Dr George Olstein. I work in Paran, Victoria, which is in the country Australia. Today I want to talk to you about a very common problem which is uh, not often recognised and that's tooth wear. A lot of people don't understand uh, what the consequences are of this and this is why I want to make this video. So if you are suffering from the con this condition, it's something you may want to look into. So first of all, what is tooth wear? Tooth wear is often defined as the loss of tooth substance due to one of two reasons or a combination thereof. The first is erosion and the second is teeth grinding. Let's start with tooth erosion. Erosion is caused by some form of acid attack. That's the usual definition, that's acid attack. And what happens is that the acid will soften the outer tooth structure, making it more susceptible to further dissolution. Now the acid can be from an extrinsic source, meaning it comes from outside the body. And the sort of things we're talking about are the, the things like Coca-Cola, Red Bull, sports drinks, and those sort of acidic drinks. It can be an intrinsic source, meaning it's coming from inside the body. The most common cause is a condition that medical uh, people call GERD, G-E-R-D, or gastroesophageal reflux disease. And what this means is you get a regurgitation of stomach acids, and a lot of people just suffer from this condition. Now, if you have this latter condition, it's probably best that you first consult with your GP who can prescribe you medications to keep this under control. The next cause of tooth wear is teeth grinding. And research has shown that approximately 20% of the population grind their teeth. Now, that can be during the day or during the night, and the latter one is commonly referred to as bruxism. It's also been estimated that during normal wear, that's normal wear and tear that uh, you would experience on a daily basis. We should lose about one millimetre of two substance every hundred years. If you look at this uh, slide of a, uh, one of my patients and you have a look at the upper front teeth, he's lost about two to three hundred years of tooth substance. What is the progression of tooth wear? Well, if you look at this slide, and let's focus on the very first image on the left-hand side. It's showing you, first of all, a cross-section of an upper and lower front tooth. And what I mean by that is we've cut a tooth in half and looking at it sideways. The outer layer, which is the layer that most people actually see when they're looking at their teeth, this is what we call enamel. It's the white part uh, of your teeth, and it's one of the harder substances in the body and provides a protective barrier around the internal parts of the tooth. The next layer, uh, which is called dentine, it's the part that's coloured yellow. And the next layer, which is coloured pink or red, is what we call the pulp tissue. The pulp tissue most people just call uh, the nerve tissue, but actually the pulp involves nerves, blood vessels and lymphatic vessels. As tooth wear progresses, the enamel wears down and it exposes the underlying layer, the softer dentine layer. And now the wear can really accelerate quite quickly because of the softer, softness of the dentine and eventually expose the nerve of the tooth. And this is illustrated in the very last picture on the right hand side. Now with this you now have a direct communication from outside with bacteria entering through the tooth going through the pulp chamber and exiting outside the root of the tooth into the bony supporting structure. And this can now lead to abscesses, pain, swelling. If you look at this slide, it's a patient of mine and it'll show you more directly what tooth wear can look like. Now to orientate you, this is a shot of the other upper teeth and it's looking from underneath. So it's as if your lower teeth are looking at the upper teeth. Now once again, if you look at the outside perimeter, you'll see the white enamel. And if you come towards the centre of the tooth, you'll see the orangey, yellowy part. That's the dentine. And if you look at two or three of your teeth, you'll see a dark area right in the middle. And that's the roof of the pulp chamber I was talking about previously. And this is where the nerve vessels are situated and it won't take long to grind through the roof of that area and uh, be a direct exposure of the nerve area.
What are the symptoms of tooth wear? Now, teeth obviously, as they wear, can start to get shorter, which obviously affects your smile. As the enamel wears, you then can start to develop sensitivity to temperature such as hot and cold. Your bite may also start to change, which can cause pain or stress in your facial muscles or the joint near the ear called the temporomandibular joint. Now with this, a lot of people end up with pain, headaches, uh, neck aches, particularly on waking in the morning. Eating foods can be a bit difficult because the teeth can uh, start to move as they become loose. They can open up spaces, which means you get food caught in between. And as the food gets caught in between, it pushes on the gums and then you end up with pain in the gums. If the bacteria get into the nerve of the tooth, uh, then you end up with the abscess, as I was mentioning beforehand and pain will develop or swelling and then you'll have to make a decision on how to treat this and this would normally require either extracting the tooth which in most cases is a shame if you want to keep the tooth then root canal treatment is going to be required can I help you with this problem? I'm sure I can but the first step is always diagnosis once we've diagnosed the problem then we can look at some form of treatment. Now, if it's uh, an early stage problem, the treatment can be relatively simple by prescribing what we call a night guard. It's uh, like a, a specific customised mouth guard which helps relieve the pressure during the night if you are grinding at night. Now, if the dentine is exposed, the treatment can be a little bit more complex and will require a bit more analysis to determine what is going to be required. Often it does require some form of restoration in the form of a porcelain veneer or maybe a crown and by doing this it will restore your smile and if we restore your bite and engineer it properly you'll end up with a more stable chewing position. Now a lot of people are unsure how a new smile will look and I can understand that and I offer a complementary, what we call digital smile design. What that will involve is, first of all, taking some photos uh, of your smile and sending this to a special laboratory, who will then digitise a new smile so that you can come back in about a week's time and look at the result and decide whether this smile is what you are looking for. If not, you're under no obligation. If you would like to go ahead, then we can formulate a treatment plan from there. Now, if you are suffering from tooth wear and would like to investigate it further, then call my surgery on 95101644 or email reception at olstein.com.au or info at olstein.com.au and my friendly staff will be only too happy to help you out. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope it's shed some light and if you're suffering from this condition it will make it easier for you to understand and as I said please feel free to contact my surgery and we will look after you I'm sure. Thank you.